So I haven't done a QA and a in a while and I figured it was about time to do a new one um, considering we now have Oliver. So I asked you guys to ask some questions and let's get into it. Okay, so the first question is, is how much dog food do we go through a month? Um, I would say it's, it's probably a little over like 25 pound bag a week. Um, everybody thinks because like the Newfoundlands are big, especially Herb, that like they eat a lot and they really don't eat much more than what the Goldens do. Um, but yeah, we go through, I, you know, 26 pounds a week, I would say. The next question, and I am going to kind of shorten these a little bit, the questions, um, but it is any bouts of aggression. Um, no, the dogs all get along great. We haven't had any like true fights break out. Um, I mean, there's been instances where like, you know, if Buddy is chewing a bone and, you know, especially when Oliver was, you know, smaller, um, dogs will teach the younger, you know, manners and you know, you don't do that. So, you know, there's that little bit of a growl that they'll let out to let the other dog know, like, this is not okay, but that's it. Um, once they, you know, the new member of the pack gets the hang of our routine and um, what's okay and what's not okay, they get along great. The next question is, is how old is Buddy? Um, Buddy will be 10 November 13th. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just say how old all the dogs dogs are. Um, so Buddy will be 10 in November. Charlie will be 6 in October. Herb will be 3 in October. Uh, Daisy just turned 4 this month. And Oliver will be 1 in December. And Sophie, she just turned 5 back in March. So, yeah. Who was the hardest dog to train? Um... They were all pretty easy to train, but if I had to pick one that kind of gave me a little more trouble, I would probably say Herb, um, just because he has a, well, back then, he had a pretty bad case of selective hearing. Um, he's gotten much better and he actually listens better than Daisy. Um, but yeah, I would just say with him, he was just, I don't know, like he was just a little stubborn but um, he's a wonderful dog now. Do all five dogs eat at the same time? Um, no, they don't. So I, I, when we moved here, I, you know, I had had Buddy, Charlie, and Daisy. And so like they had their own routine of how they ate and where they ate their spots. Um, so then when I got Herb, that kind of threw things out a little bit and Herb was more focused on trying to eat everyone else's food instead of his. So I then started feeding him separately from the other three. And then when Oliver came along, it was kind of the same thing. You know, Oliver was more interested in what the dogs were eating and because he was on puppy food, you know, I didn't want him getting a hold of the older dog's food. So then at that point I had to feed Oliver separate from everybody. So when I get up in the morning, uh, first thing I do is now is I let Oliver out and then Oliver eats. And then um, after that, I will let the Buddy Charlie and Daisy out and then they will eat and then Herb will go out and then he will eat. So that way the three will eat together, but Herb and Oliver eat separate. So it's just, it's what works for us. And um, I mean, now I've, I can feed Herb with the other three, but we're just already on that routine. So I've just stuck with it. How much does Oliver weigh? Um, honestly, I really don't know. Um, he hasn't been seen at the vet for a while, but if I had to guess, I would say probably around 50 pounds. Um, they, all the dogs are gonna be boarded at my vet this weekend. So I was gonna have them weigh him just so that way I have an accurate weight on record for him. But yeah, I, I would guess around 50 pounds. How do you make individual time for the dogs? Um, I mean, I take them all for walks, but and I don't walk all five dogs at the same time, unless like, you know, my kids and my husband go. Um, but normally like, you know, I'll take one dog for a walk, um, then I'll come back and then I may take another one. Um, usually I'll, me personally, I'll usually only walk two at a time, but 
So we do that. And then also, you know, like when we take trips outside of the house, um, I like to do that individually with a dog because I feel like that's like a special time with us. And I don't ever film it because I am really weird about filming in public. So I feel bad because you guys don't ever really get to see them outside of this house. Um, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm really weird, like filming my dogs in public. Um, one, I don't want to draw attention to myself and I, I don't know, I guess it's, it's, it's like an anxiety thing, I guess. I don't know. But, um, so yeah, that's what we do. But the only dog that really truly likes to go bye-bye is Daisy. Um, Oliver likes to, Charlie does not like to go anywhere. Buddy doesn't really either. Herb, he's just kind of like, eh, you know, he just, I don't know. <laughs> he acts like he's just like really bored. Um, so, but yeah, that's, that's what I try to do. Are you getting any more pets? Absolutely not. I do not want another dog. I do not want another cat. I don't want a hamster. I don't want a fish. I don't want any more pets. Um, I never planned on having five dogs. Um, it happened. I wasn't looking for another dog. He just kind of fell in my lap. And under the circumstances, I, you know, I ended up keeping him. But I love him. But I, I will never do in five dogs again. And honestly, I'm my comfortable number is three. But uh, yeah, I no. Where do all your dogs sleep at night? This one, I know I'm probably going to get shit for, but honestly, I really don't care because this is my house, my life, my dogs, and I do what is best for our family and what I think is best for them. So anyways, I have crate trained all of my dogs. Um, once my dogs reach an age to where I feel that they are mature enough to be able to stay out, um, you know, through like, you know, when we leave or at night, um, I then start the process of letting them stay out um usually that's around like a year and a half is normally when i feel they're com you know i'm comfortable enough leaving them out um and it's not just because of like pooping and peeing in the house or something it's more or less like them getting into something that could hurt them um but so buddy charlie and daisy they all sleep in my bedroom at night um herb you know, Herb's, he's almost three, but he still sleeps in his crate. And it's not because I don't trust him. It's not because he's like a good dog because he is. It's by his choice. Um, he is very attached to his crate. And I have tried multiple times to get him to sleep outside of his crate at night. During the day, he will snooze throughout the house, like any spot. He don't care. He will snooze. But at night, he will pace and he will whine and he will pace and he will keep wanting to go back to his crate. So I'm like, you know what? That's what he wants. That's fine. Oliver, you know, he's only seven and a half months old. So obviously he is still crated at night, um, you know, or like when we leave. But um, he's also seems like he enjoys his crate as well. And his crate is, is right by Herb. So. You know and they have a tv that they can watch um but yeah so i'm hoping once oliver reaches that age that i that i feel comfortable leaving him out that he will be willing to stay out but if not that's just how he is and that's what he's comfortable with so once again i don't make my dogs do anything they don't want to do and if they feel like they feel more comfortable and safe in their crate then it is what it is this is one that I get asked so much is how do I keep my house clean or you know, keep it spotless? My house is not spotless. I will put it, I will say that. Um, is it clean? Yes, it's, it's very clean, but I'm, I'm anal and I, I like my house a certain way and I'm not going to, just because I have so many animals, I'm, it just means I have to clean more. So that's what I do. I clean and yeah, you know, I have a friend or something will text me or, you know, hey, what are you doing? I'm cleaning or I'm vacuuming, you know, and like the next day, what are you doing? Vacuuming. And they're like, is that all you do? And I mean, there's a good portion of it. Yeah, that's what I do. But uh, yep, that's I don't have any secret trick or anything. It's just I clean a lot. 
So I know I mentioned this one before, um, but I didn't say his birthday. So Oliver's birthday is December 28th. Do you do all your own housework? Yeah, I do it all. Um, I take care of the entire house inside. Um, and then, you know, obviously like my husband will do the outside stuff like mow grass and trim, and, you know, whatever, or edge. But uh, yeah, I, I do all the housework myself. How is Buddy doing? Buddy is doing great. Um, for his age, he, he seems like he's pretty healthy. Um, I know you guys don't see it because obviously I'm not filming 24 seven, um, but he is up and moving around and he plays. Um, I would say, you know, when we first moved into this house in 2020, there was a time where I was like, you know, I don't know how much longer Buddy's gonna be around because he just seemed like he was having a really hard time getting up. He was having a hard time being mobile. Um, you know, so then I ended up working with him to get some weight off of him and he went on, um, a special, like a prescription medication for like arthritis. And I'll tell you what, it's been wonders. He has done so well and he is so much better today than he was three years ago. So, um, my husband always jokes around and says that, you know, buddy ain't ever going to go anywhere because he doesn't want to leave his mama. And it's funny because yeah, he's definitely a mama's boy. Where did you come up with your dogs and Sophie's name? Um, I really don't know. Um, I, when we got Buddy, you know, and after like I seen him and we got him home and I just, he looked like a buddy to me. So that's kind of like what I do is, you know, I don't have names picked out before the dog because I, I kind of want to see the dog and their personality and whatever name just kind of pops in my head and that's usually what I go with. Um, so I named Buddy and my husband named Charlie. He just said he looked like a Charlie and it, he does. Um, Daisy I named her. Um, I was originally going to call her Gracie but I was like I don't know we were sitting outside on the deck one day and I went to say Gracie and I accidentally said Daisy. And I was like, you know what? I like that name better. So I went with Daisy. Herb was probably the hardest. I could not pick a name for him whatsoever. He didn't have a name for like a week. And then finally, like, I went with the name Herb because I was just like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, like it fits. He, he looks like a Herb. Um, Oliver, I didn't get to pick his name. So, um, I mean, I could have changed his name because he was so young, but he looked like an Oliver to me. And... I know it doesn't like everybody always thinks it's funny that like my name my dog's names are kind of like an alphabetical order um or they all kind of sound alike you know so like you have buddy charlie daisy herbie and then there's oliver but i could call him ollie and it still fits with like it still fits but i don't ever call him ollie i call him oliver because when i call him ollie it sounds like i'm calling him Allie. so i just i just stuck with just calling him oliver but um Sophie, I don't even remember. I think she just reminded me of, I don't know. I don't even know how I came up with her name. And no one ever calls her her name. Like, <laughs> I hate to say it, you know, but like, it's not like I'm, I walk around the house and yell Sophie. Like I call her kitty kitty and she comes at that point. So I've never had a cat come to its, come to its name. It's always just came to kitty kitty. Um, and most of the time she won't even come for that. She just ignores you completely. How do you walk them all? I kind of touched bases on this a little bit ago, but, um, if I want to take multiple dogs, you know, if I want to take all five for a walk, um, I obviously, I do not do that on my own. So like my husband and my kids will go, um, and we'll each, you know, have one or two dogs. So normally when it's me just walking them, the most I will take at a time is two. Um, and normally like how I'll do is like, I'll take the Newfoundlands together. Um, and then I'll take, you know, like Charlie and Buddy together. Um, and then if it's a, and then like Oliver will go solo. And then maybe the next day, like Oliver will go with someone. Um, but also too, like, I'm going to say like, I don't walk my dogs every day. And it's because they have so we have a decent amount of land for them to run around and play on so i only really take them out 
it's not for exercise. It's just for them to get away from the house and to be able to sniff new things and see things and, you know, whatever. But, um, but yeah, they do go on walks at least a couple times a week. Um, cause I just feel like it's just better for their mental health. But yeah, I don't ever attempt to do all five dogs by myself. Like that's, there's just no way. What does Charlie think of the new addition? Um, they have a love hate relationship. Uh, some days Charlie's all about him, plays with them, has a grand old time. And some days Charlie wants nothing to do with them. You know, Oliver will try to play with them and Charlie's just like, nope, gives him the cold shoulder. Charlie, he's getting older. He, you know, he and he enjoys his his peace. Um, and he doesn't like his peace being disrupted. So he will kind of distance himself away from the other dogs and like go into the living room and they're all in the sunroom. And he'll kind of just go in the living room and cuddle with his duck and enjoy his peace and quiet. So, um, which, you know, is to be expected. I mean, he's still playful. He still gets all excited and, you know, is goofy, but he's definitely slowed down quite a bit in the last year. Do the dogs ever wander like into the garden or other people's properties? No, um, I've trained them to know the boundaries of their yard, where they're allowed to go, where they're not allowed to go. So, um, no. Is Herb as big as he will get? I, uh, yeah, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure he's done growing. Um, height wise, he has not changed in probably 10 months. Uh, length wise, he has not changed. Weight wise, he's staying about the same. So yeah, I would say he's, he's done growing. Who loves to snuggle the most? Um, Buddy likes to snuggle but I would say out of all five dogs, it would definitely be Daisy. Daisy is the biggest cuddle bug. She likes to, she likes to cuddle with you. So definitely Daisy. And this one, it just made me laugh because whose toots stink worse? Uh, Buddy. <laughs> Buddy has some killer farts. He will clear a room out. It's, it's pretty, pretty rank. So yeah. Um, Hi, baby. Oh, ew, don't get in my mouth. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess that's uh, all for now. And I'll try to do it again sometime soon.